Hello. Hello, class. How are you? Good evening. I'm okay. And you? I'm doing great. Very happy to be here with all of you. I was having issues with my audio. But now I can listen to you perfect. Can you listen to me? Yeah, we can. Okay, perfect. Well, welcome everybody to a new class, to a new opportunity to learn. It is a great pleasure for me to be here. How was your day, people? How was your day today? Well, in my case, I'm a little busy because I received uh, some classes today. You received classes today. Okay. Yeah. What time do you have your classes? In the morning and in the afternoon. So you have classes in both uh, shifts, in the morning yeah. and in the afternoon. Yeah. Okay. And what is the time that you prefer? Do you prefer classes in the morning or in the afternoon? Um. I think that in the morning, but it's very difficult to uh, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> to wake up, like that is a difficult part, right? To wake up in the morning, because that is like kind of the complicated part to say like, ah, I don't want to do it, or I am too tired, or I am sleepy and I cannot do it. I don't want to do it. So that's like the biggest issue, right? When you say- But if uh -huh. we take a shower, I think that- that uh, helps yeah yeah that, that helps, helps a lot yeah. definitely yeah it happens with with my song in the morning when he's like no mom i don't want to go i don't want to go and then after the shower he is all bright shiny and hey let's do this <laughs> so i think the waking up it's it's the problem but for the rest it it is a good thing so you receive you like to receive classes during the morning that's good. So what about the rest of you people? How was your day? What did you do? In me, it's good the time, the day, but I am sick. Sick? Ah, uh, yeah, you are sick. Yeah, I terrible, my boy. <laughs> you know, many people are getting sick right now. You, that You have to be very careful right now because everybody is getting sick. I know many people that are like, I am sick. I have the flu. I have coughing. I have. So it's, it's, a, it's a thing. I think it's because of the crazy weather that we have. Because, yeah. because we have that it's hot. sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's windy, sometimes it's raining in some parts of El Salvador. And then you don't really know what's going on, right, with the weather. So you have to be very careful. Drink a lot of vitamins, take a lot of water, take different vitamins, vitamin C, it's the most important to have. So you have to take care of yourself a lot because right now we never know. So I am very sorry to know that you are sick. Someone else who wants to share a little bit about the day? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Tell me. <laughs> now. Uh-huh. Tell me, how was your day today? It was good. What did you do? Mm. I cleaned my house. Hey, that's good. Well, that's that's <laughs> something good to do, right? To clean the yes. house. Yes. No, no one likes to do it, but someone has to do it. So it is yeah. <laughs> it is kind of complicated. <laughs> 
Good. So, well, my dear students, welcome to the class. I am very, very happy to have most of you here. So we're going to start. We are going to start our day by talking a little bit about your favorite movie. What is it? What is the movie about? Who stars the movie? And is it an action movie, a comedy movie? Is it long? Is it short? Is it uh, famous? Is it old or is it new, right? So before starting this, I need you to take a little of notes, right? Create some ideas for you to have something to share, okay? Escriban un poquito de sus ideas para que puedan tener algo eh, que compartir al momento de enviarlos a los grupos. We are going to talk about our favorite movie, right? We are going to talk about that. I am going to take some notes here. I am going to make some notes. And we are going to specify what we're going to talk about. And we're going to talk about which is your favorite movie. Which is your favorite movie? Okay, that's it, the main question. The next part of the question, I will say, who stars the movie? Who is the main character? What gender? What gender is the movie? Is it a comedy? Is it an action movie? Is it a scary movie? Is it a suspense movie? And the next one uh, we have here, is it an old movie or a recent movie? Is it animated, right? What other questions can you ask related to movies, people? What other questions can we add? I have the questions that I am showing you there. What other questions can we add? Teacher, yep. I have doubt. Uh, I don't understand the second question. Who starts the movie? Is the, for example, if you tell me about a uh, Titanic, who starts the movie Titanic? What is the main character, the main person? Ah, okay. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo right? DiCaprio. So who starts the movie? Leonardo DiCaprio. That's my favorite movie. So who is the star of the movie? If you talk about the movie Shrek, who stars the movie Shrek? Shrek, <laughs> right? So make make Mayor um Mike um, Mayer. Mike Myers, right? It's Mike Myers. Uh, and also Mr. Derbez in Spanish. <laughs> and Cameron Diaz. And Cameron Diaz, exactly. Okay, so uh, what other questions can we collect for us to investigate about movies? Teacher, yep. Toby, uh, what is the, the message or, or the knowledge that the, the movie leaves? Exactly like that. What, what is the main message of the movie? Or what is the learning that you get from the movie, right? What is the main message of the movie? Good. Another one. Uh, could be, do you like a watched movie? Okay, yes, but in this case, that, that is a good question if you are getting information about likes or dislikes. But in this case, we are digging about something specific. For example, in this case, I can say, 
Ah, people, my favorite movie is uh, Wonder, right? And then you start you start asking me questions, teacher. Uh, what type of movie is it? Is it long? Is it short? Is it animated? Is it like this? So we start asking questions about it, right? Entonces de aquí tenemos partimos de una sola cosa. Hey, esta es mi película favorita. Entonces, todos tenemos que empezar a hacer como preguntas acerca de esa película. ¿Qué podemos preguntar? ¿Quién es la estrella? ¿Qué género es la película? ¿Es, es antigua? ¿Es reciente? Eh, ¿Cuántas veces la has visto? ¿Cuál es el mensaje que te deja? ¿Es corta? ¿Es larga? ¿Qué más podemos preguntar? ¿Es it based on a true event? Exactly. ¿Es it, is it real life based? Okay, very good. Another question. Is it real life based? Very good. What else? I really like that you think and, and produce and say like, hey, we can we can ask this or that. Because in Spanish we are very, we love to ask questions, right? In Espanol, no le digo yo. Hey, vieran bichos, ¿a quién vi en la mañana? Hey, ¿A quién vio teacher? ¿A dónde lo vio teacher? ¿Y qué hicieron teacher? ¿Y a dónde fueron teacher? ¿Y qué andaba vestido? And then you start asking a lot of questions because we love information, right? It's the same thing here. We are talking about the movie, right? We need information about the movie. What is your favorite part of the movie? What is your favorite part? Very good. What is your favorite part? What is your favorite part of the movie? Okay. What is your favorite part of the movie? Now that you are learning English, I have a very important question. Is it in English or in Spanish? Is it in English or in Spanish, right? And then you have a couple of questions. So if I say, for example, people, my favorite movie is uh, Armageddon. Ask me questions. Uh -huh. Ask me questions. Ahí tienen todas las preguntas. Who starred the movie? Um, uh, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis <gasps> starts the movie. Is your favorite actor? No, uh, he's not my favorite actor. One of my favorite actors is Denzel Washington and uh, Brad Pitt, and <laughs> I have many more. <laughs> but uh, no, he's not my favorite actor. But thank you for the question. Good question. More. Okay. Which is the soundtrack of the movie? The soundtrack of the movie is I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. That's okay. another, Aerosmith, yes. That's another good question, you see. I am going to add it right here. I am going to add it right here because there are many movies who have very good soundtracks. Teacher, yeah? when I, uh, where can I see it or, or where can I watch it? Is, is it on a platform like Netflix or something like that? I think, well, it was on Netflix a couple of months ago. I don't really know if it is still there, but I can investigate. <laughs> I think it's in, in if it is not in, in HBO Max, it's in a Star Plus, but I will investigate. I think you can watch it online. Teacher, how many times have you watched it? <laughs> I think I have watched it like a <laughs> like hundred times. <sighs> yeah, but I have seen it many times. Another question. You are going to do the same with your group. Esto mismo van a hacer con su grupo, así que practique. Uh -huh. Teacher, uh -huh. uh, what is the main message of the movie? 
What is the main message of the movie? Uh, it has many. You have to be brave. You have to be courageous. You have to enjoy life. And you have to let others be happy. Because uh, he's, uh, well, the, the main character, that it's the father, so offers his life in order to save the boyfriend of his daughter. So it's pretty awesome. <laughs> So to take to take advantage of the best moments in life and to be courageous. That's the message. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, do you think uh, something like this uh, could happen one day in the true life? I think it might happen. I don't know. We are destroying our planet so much that it is possible that it happens. I, I do believe in all these outside worlds. So I think it might happen one day and I hope Bruce Willis is going to be still alive even when he has mental problems now he is going to save us and we're going to say Mr. Bruce Willis do it you did it one time you can do it again another question Huh? Five, four, three, two. What What would you do <laughs> if something like this happened? I don't know. I think I will. I will uh, hug my family and just wait for the rest to come. Yeah, I think you I, in a in a in a disaster like this. I don't really know what would people do. If you know that you are going to die and you are like, ah, the asteroid is coming. So we just need to wait. Creo que would you do a, a voluntary? <laughs> a voluntary work. Yes, I like to do that. I have done it before. So I think I will do it. I will do voluntary, voluntary work. Again, saving people. And if I have classes, I will teach the class, the last class. It's like teacher va dar día libre por el asteroide. No. <laughs> we are going to have a class. <laughs> and we are going to sing. I don't want to close my eyes. <laughs> okay, so this is the example that you are going to do with your group. So think about your favorite movie. Think about your favorite movie and you can think about these different questions that you have here, okay? Think about the different questions that you have and maybe you are not going to give a lot of detail about each of the questions, but try to give as much as possible, okay? Try to give as much detail as possible and I am going to share all these questions on the chat. Let me just... Okay, I think I can select everything. Let me see. I, I cannot do it. I will take a picture. Okay. I will send you the questions right now on the chat. So you can actually have them there and check them if it's necessary. Teacher, I'm sorry, yep. I have a question. Yes. What the meaning soundtrack? The soundtrack. The soundtrack is the song of the movie. I'm sorry? The song of the movie. Oh, okay, okay, thanks. Yeah, for example, if you talk about Vaselina, or Grease in English, for example, you know what the soundtrack of the movie is, right? Okay, okay, teacher, thanks. So that is the meaning of the soundtrack. Oh, no, 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 Manuel, I haven't, I haven't called the attendance, don't worry. We are still developing here a couple of questions. Okay, so think about your favorite movie. Think about your favorite movie and we are going to go to small groups and we are going to share. We are going to share about it. You are going to ask different questions to your friends and they are going to be answering according to to their favorite things right 
They are going to share about their favorite movie and you are going to ask follow-up questions. I am going to send you the questions uh, to your WhatsApp because I cannot send them in the Zoom meeting because it is a screenshot. So just give me a second, I will send it to you right now. Okay. So here it goes. And you are going to have them on your chat. I am going to send it to you in this very specific moment. And please have your answers ready, okay? That is the most important part, to have your answers ready so you can share them. So you can share them with your friends. And, okay, oh, I thought I had sent it. Well, I will make the groups right now. And while I send you the questions, you can start sharing about which your favorite movie is. I am going to have groups of three, so you can all share. Okay, so accept my invitation, my dear students. I will send the picture to uh, the group right now. Okay, accept my invitation. And we are going to the groups. Thank you very much. Giselle, Elvia, Elvia, have you received my invitation to go to the groups? Mr. Manuel, did you receive my invitation? Okay, Pablo, did you receive my invitation to go to the groups? Thank you. Manuel y Pablo, recibieron la invitación. Hola. Manuelito, Pablo, no sé si me escuchan, recibieron la invitación para los grupos. Thank you. Ok, Manuelito. ¿Recibiste la invitación para el grupo? Hello. Hello, hello. Okay, good. Now that all of my students are in the different groups, I am going to go and check how they are doing. Let's join the different sections. And when we come back, we are going to talk about the topic of the day, that it's participles as adjectives. Okay, let's go and check the groups. Yes. What is your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is... Um... I remember this is um, Breed and Prejuicio. I don't know. Ah, uh, yes, I, I have it. Uh, okay. This is Pride like... and Prejudice. Pride and? Prejudice. Prejudice. Okay. So cute. 
Yeah, that's a that's a beautiful and not that beautiful movie, right? Because it it's it has a beautiful message. Did you read the book? Not, but I uh, siempre he querido conseguirlo. Oh, I think I have it. <laughs> I will yeah. share it with you. Yeah, I think I have it. In uh, I, I, I say me is very interesting in the book. Yeah, it is totally different from the book. Uh, so uh, if, if I find it, if not, I will look for the PDF version and I will share it with you. Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Continue, continue. <laughs> okay. Um, Marlon, what's that, the movie? Movie. Este no sé qué dice. Is it really life based? Is yes. It real, life, real. real life based. Oh. Ay. <laughs> es está basada en la vida real. Oh. Uh -huh. Thank you. Tiki. Okay, good. Continue, continue. Yes, it's real. Simple. My star. Um... My star actor, the move, así sería. Mi estrella. No, 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 Ajá, ahí estoy. Como, como la, el personaje principal sería la estrella de la película. Exactly, like Ajá. that. Who is the star of the movie? And then, for the answer, you can say, eh, Vicente Fernández is the star of the movie, or Vicente Fernández stars the movie, right? So you can talk about the name of the person, and then you say that he or she is is the main character. What movie are you talking about? Um, yeah. Different movie, teacher. Oh, different movies, but example, I think. For example, I like um, Honeymoon, Honeymoon in Family, or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that. I don't know. <laughs> I I know that movie. Yeah, it's it's so funny, yes. right? It's with Adam Sandler, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I don't remember the name the girl of the lady. The one I don't yeah. Drew Barrymore. Yes. Yeah, it's Drew Barrymore. So mm -hmm. in that case, you say who starts the movie? Uh, it is uh, Adam Sandler uh, yeah. and Drew Barrymore because the two of them uh, are the are the stars. So that's the way you answer. Okay, I will check on the next group and I will come back, okay? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I enter again. Continue, don't worry. I, I just got the wrong. El de piratas en el Caribe. Aha. Okay. Uh -huh. My star the movie is Will Smith. <laughs> oh, what movie is it? Um, eh, the movie. Una de mis favoritas, ¿cómo se dice? Una de. One of my favorite. De, one, one of my favorite. One of my favorite. One of my favorite. En busca de la felicidad. No sé ah, it's searching for happiness. In the pursuit of happiness. It's the, the pursuit of happiness. The pursuit of happiness. Esta that's, es otra de mis favoritas. That's a beautiful but sad movie. It is very sad. But it's very beautiful. Okay, I will check on the last group. I will come back. Aha, los caché. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how are you? What is I'm your, fine. what what were you talking about? I'm fine. We 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 practice the English with my with my partner Byron. <laughs> okay, so tell me, what okay. is Byron's favorite movie? Uh Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or eleven. 
All, all, um, it's uh, my favorite is the the seventh. The seventh, okay. <laughs> I like I like the one from Tokyo. Oh. Uh, that that's my favorite. Yeah. And also the fifth one. I don't remember what is the fifth one, but I like the fifth one. And the first one that is a classic, right? Yeah. It's just like grandfather being diesel in Fast and Furious 20. <laughs> he, will be, he will be very old. What is Elmer's favorite yes, movie? He is very old. He is now, yeah. What is Elmer's favorite movie? His favorite movie is The Mask. The, ah, yeah, that's a good one. A classic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you dance with the Cuban pit thing? I can see I, I can dance, teacher. But when when the music starts, I mean you have to start dancing. It's like the Cuban <laughs> pit. <laughs> I love that movie. It's very beautiful. It's it's, it's a my nice favorite movie, teacher. It because is because it's really uh, really funny. Yeah. I like it too. Well, it's time to go back. Let's go back to the main session. Welcome, welcome. Okay, welcome back from your groups. I was very glad to listen to you talking about your favorite movies and everything. It is very curious that you have likes in common, right? Mm -hmm. That you that you like Adam Sandler's movies and that you like Jim Carrey's movies. So it is like a very common thing that I was listening in the different groups, right? that I like Adam Sandler, I like this, I like that. So that was pretty awesome. From all these movies that I am showing you here, people, do you recognize any of them? I have Star Wars, E.T., Jurassic Park, Independence Day, The Lion King, First Gum, Home Alone, The Return of the Jedi, Jaws, and Batman. Do you recognize any of them as one of your favorites? Yeah, it's Jurassic, Park. Jurassic Park. Which one? I like. <laughs> I don't know what Do is like Home Alone. It? Home Alone. It's a classic Christmas movie with Macaulay Culkin. The the kid that their parents uh, live. Oh with. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I, and I he saves it. he saves the house every time from the thief. In my the translate of, of the of, for, for the Spanish is, is <laughs> <Me pobre mad. laughs> Me too. most of the movies, <laughs> most of the movies, when you translate them into Spanish, it's something different. Because the movie it's called Solo in Casa or Casa Sola. And that will be so easy, right? Pero imagínense decirle, hey, vamos a ver Casa Sola al cine. No, right? It is different. <laughs> it is different that you say like, hey, vamos a ver mi pobre angelito. ¿Y por qué mi pobre angelito? Ah, vamos a verla. So it is, it, it's catchy, right? It, it gets your attention. So in this case, for example, uh, who likes Forrest Gum? Me. Me. I like it. Guilty. <laughs> I like Forrest Gum. Natalie likes Forrest Gum. Or do Gump you have a question? No, I don't like Forrest Gum. You know, but I like Forrest Gum. The book. The book. I read it list recently. Buba. Oh yes, and that is another thing. Natalie is really right. When you read the book and you watch the movie, you appreciate books a lot. So because 
in the book, you can see a lot of details and things and stuff that make it very interesting. And on the movie, sometimes it's like, eh, it is not that good. So what about The Lion King? Do you like The Lion King? Yes, yeah. I do like it. Yes, yes I, I like it. I like it. <laughs> um, yes, I do. What about Batman? Who likes Batman? Which Batman? All the Batmans. <laughs> well, I love the the. I think it's El Caballero de la Noche. That's one of my favorite. Yes. It's the yeah, best. that's the best <sighs> because of the wasong. I like that. That's pretty awesome. He died. Yeah, but I like it. Yeah, he died because of that movie. He got crazy. So, what about Joss? Do you know what's the what's the movie Jaws? I don't know. Tiburon. No. Shark. <laughs> Shark. Shark. Aquí tenemos una colección de niños. Yo también tengo los míos que gritan, así que no se aflijan. <laughs> es el mío, pero porque grita por allá, lejos, no lo oye. So, let's see Independence Day with Will Smith. Yes, I like it. I like it. <laughs> the movie. I love that movie when he kills the alien. <laughs> That's part. And what about Men in Black? Do you like that one? Yes. And the classic of classics of the Fox Channel. Uh, what is the name of this of this thing in English? I don't remember. But it's about two boys who transform into girls, into blonde girls. I don't remember the name in English, but uh, isn't it white chicks? White chicks, yes. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, point for Nati. White chicks. That it's like another horrible translation into Spanish. That is, ¿y dónde están las rubias? <laughs> it's something totally different. Because white chicks, that is like chicas blancas in, in English, right? The translation. But no, they say, ¿Y dónde están las rubias? That it's another thing. So when we talk about different movies, when we talk about different things, we also think about adjectives. And you say, ah, that's a boring movie. That makes me feel very bored. So, or you say like, that's a horrible movie. That's a beautiful movie, right? You think about adjectives in order to describe the movie. If I tell you, for example, uh, I don't know, Cantinflas movies, do you like them? It's very interesting. Yes. <laughs> it's very interesting, right? It, the movie, it's uh, very interesting. I got very interested. Okay, they are very funny. What about, uh, what's the other actor, Vicente Fernandez movies? Fernandez? Do you like Vicente Fernandez movie? It has a couple of movies. No. It's not oh that famous. Case, no. What about Pedro Infante? Yes. I like yes. <laughs> because I of like it. because of our parents, we need to love these type of movies. So in these ones. Uy, es que están asesinando ahí. ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> ya ni régimen. ¿Qué pasa? Do you want to see a movie tonight, people? Do you want to see a movie tonight? Yes. Yes. <laughs> you have the conversation yeah. on the screen, people. Do you want to see a in, movie tonight? In two classes. <laughs> What's playing? What's playing, right? How about the new Steven Spielberg film? I heard it's really exciting. Yeah. And you say, who's Steven Spielberg? You know, he directed Jaws, E.T. and Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, Jurassic Park. Let me mark it here. There we go. But, but he only directed or, or or he act or play uh, in, in, in the movie? He only directed. He only directed the movie. <laughs> okay. Okay, so 
uh, Jurassic Park was boring, you say. The book by Michael uh, Creighton was fascinating, but the movie was terrible. Here you have three different verbs. Let's see, and here we have another. Well, I'm interested in that new Johnny Depp movie. It's a romance. I It's been playing for about a month. Now that sounds good. I've never seen him in a romance. I think he's a wonderful actor. Do you like Johnny Depp's movies? Yes. It's a good actor. Yes. He is a good it's actor. A he, he has all yeah, these he... different um, like faces for acting that he's just fascinating, right? Here we have different adjectives that we can use when we talk about uh, different things that we like. So like, I heard it's really exciting. Exciting, I heard it's really exciting. When you say, I feel excited about it. It's like, you are feeling that. But if you say, I heard it's really exciting, it's an external feeling, right? It's exciting. What about the next one? So like, ah, oh, Jurassic Park was boring. The movie was boring, right? It was like, ay, que aburrida. But you were bored in that case. The movie could have been boring, but when you are talking about a personal feeling, you can say, I know, teacher, I am bored. Bored, it's a personal feeling. And boring, it's an external situation, right? The movie is boring, the traffic is boring, the TV show is boring, right? Fascinating, fascinating. For example, the new show that it's coming uh, about some paintings, you can say, oh, that's a fascinating thing, teacher. And when you go to the show and you say, teacher, I was fascinated about, me sentí fascinado. You were feeling that, right? But in the case of terrible, you say like the movie was terrible. It was long. It was boring. So you can use this structure for you to express or describe different situations. Okay. Let's go and check more examples. Here. Let me just erase these lines. Let's check some other examples here. Participles as adjectives. I send you a practice today about this. If you had the chance to see it, you can actually understand this a little bit more. Okay. Hoy les envío una práctica de esto y un poquito de explicación acerca del tema. No sé si lo pudieron ver o si me tienen bloqueada, desbloqueen. <laughs> Please. Okay. Did you check on the message that I sent you? O ahorita lo acaban de abrir. Sean sinceros. ¿Quién revisó lo que les envié? Ok, Elizabeth. Only Elizabeth. And what about oh, the rest? Ajá. Ahí se andieron de chat. Eh, chicos, eh, solo el recordatorio, solo puedo ver cuatro cámaras. Recuerden que eso es parte... Eh, de requisito de la clase, todas las, las cámaras tienen que estar encendidas durante los 60 minutos de clase, así que porfa, me ayudan todos los demás con eso. No importa que ande en pijama, que esté comiendo, que hay que desorden aquí. No, no estamos. Eh, la importancia es tenerlos a ustedes en clase participando y pues para que no, no se les vaya a hacer el llamado de atención por la cuestión que no estamos cumpliendo con la cámara. Ahí estamos, excelente. Hoy ya puedo ver a nueve. And I cannot see Iris, Emma, Marlon, Pablo, Sandra, Daisy, Saulito, no te veo, Manuel tampoco. I'm here, I'm here. Thank you, thank you. I cannot see Cristina, I cannot see Damaris and Elvia. Okay, so please help me with that. Okay, so I sent you this on... Uh, on the exercise this morning. If you didn't see it, please check it out because it's very helpful for you to get more ideas and more vocabulary, okay? When you have present participles, it says the new Johnny Depp movie sounds interesting. How would you translate that into Spanish? ¿Cómo traduciríamos eso? The new Johnny Depp movie sounds interesting. 
otra película de Johnny Depp suena interesante. Exactly. Estamos hablando de la película. Que la película es la que suena interesante. So. Yeah. It was my question about that because I had problem with, with the exercise. In this case, I am very confused about the, 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 the interesting when, when we have to use interesting and we have to use interested. Interested. Or, or okay. for example, boring or bored. Okay, but... that's, that's something that I'm going to explain right now. For example, in this case, when you say the new Johnny Depp movie sounds interesting, you are talking about the movie. And you say, ah, the movie sounds interesting. But when you say, I am interested in the new Johnny Depp movie, so it is an action that it's falling on you, okay? Yeah. Es la primera acción cuando dice la película suena interesante. Estamos hablando de la película, es un factor externo. Yeah. Eso suena interesante. Pero si yo digo, I'm interested in the new Johnny Depp movie, it's a feeling that you have. Yo estoy interesado. Yeah. Right? The other one is okay. interesante with okay. ing, right? And this one with ed, it's aburrid, it's uh, interesado. That's the meaning. But okay. in this case, you say, I am interested. La película no puede ser in interested. Porque si usted okay. dice, ah, the new movie is interested. La película es interesada. No podemos porque la película no puede tener el sentimiento del interés. Okay. Pero puede ser interesante. It's kind of tricky. Por eso les consultaba si habían leído el ejercicio que les mandé. Ahí está como la explicación más en detalle. But I am going to try to explain the rest. Saúl, okay. tell me. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Oscar. Saúl. Teacher is like a feeling when we use with ED. With ED. Example. Yes, it's a feeling because it's causing you to do that. Because in the next one, it says the movie Jurassic Park was boring. La película estuvo aburrida. Aburrida, pero no la película. La película no puede estar así como, ay, qué aburrida estoy. <laughs> so the movie cannot have the feeling. <laughs> no. But you can feel bored. You say, I was bored. Ah, yo estaba aburrido con esa película. I was bored by Jurassic Park. That's a feeling that you were having at that moment. You say, the book was fascinating. El libro estaba. O estuvo fascinante. ¿Ok? ¿Puede el libro sentirse fascinado? It's fascinating. No. It's, fascinating. The book was fascinating. ¿Ok? But if okay. you say, I was fascinated by the book. Yo estaba fascinado con el libro. Son todos los, en los casos de los ED, de los past participles, son sentimientos que nos pueden causar a nosotros como humanos, pero no como a los objetos, ¿ok? You can say, the program was fascinating. I was fascinated by the program, ¿ok? It caused you to feel like that. In this one, I have other examples here. Denzel Washington is a very actor. You are talking about, excellent, you are talking about Denzel Washington. Decimos, es que no, ese hombre sí es interesante. Y si usted empieza a investigar de Denzel Washington, ¿qué está haciendo? So you say, I am interested in Denzel Washington. Que ya le causó el interés. I am interested in Denzel Washington. Y está investigando, está leyendo, está como, hey, ¿qué está pasando con Denzel Washington? I find nature films. Yo encuentro los, las películas acerca de naturaleza. Interesting. Fascinating. You have fascinating. You have fascinating. Fascinating. I find natural nat nature films fascinating. And you can say, I am fascinated about nature films. Porque lo veo y lo veo y lo veo y me encanta, right? Interest. Horror movies. Nah. I am not interested. I am not, I am not, not interested. Interested. I am not interested, interested in horror movies. It's like, meh. I don't care about that. I'm not interested in horror movies. The next one. 
am bored. I am bored. Horrors. I am Horrors. bored with watching television. It's like, I know, yeah, no, yeah, most of I am bored with watching television. I love Winona Ryder's latest movie. I was that I didn't. Amazed. Amazed. Huh? amazed. I was amazed. I was amazed that it didn't do better. I love Winona Ryder's movie. I was amazed that I it didn't do better, right? It was perfect. I thought Jurassic Park was an exciting book. Exciting, exciting book. book. I thought book. I thought Jurassic Park was an exciting book, but nothing. Right? Con decirle, yo creí que era interesante, yo creí que era excitante, yo creí que era emocionante. But no. I am by my I am fascinated because fascinated. Fascinated because you are feeling that by Michael Crichton's movies. You want to learn more and more, right? It is they don't make many westerns these days. Surprise. Surprising. Surprising, surprising, right? It is surprising that they don't make many westerns these days so this is the difference right when you are talking about the object or the situation you can use what? present participle and when you are talking about the feeling you use a past participle <laughs> now it is clear the difference right so it's very clear it's very clear thank you very much right here i have a couple of reactions that you can actually use when we talk about something specific. We have the first one that it's observed. Absurd. It's like, huh? That it's like it's nonsense, right? That's that's absurd. Bizarre. It's like, hmm, that's a strange, right? Bizarre. Disgusting. But you don't like it, right? Disgusting. What is the meaning of dreadful? Dreadful. Ah, vamos a ver los dedos más rápidos del oeste. Google. Dreadful. Natalie, what is the meaning of dreadful? I'm not sure, but I think it's like when you're not happy with something. I, yeah, I need a specific definition. What is dreadful? Huh? Vamos a ver quién gana en los dedos más rápidos del oeste. It's like a terrible. Dreadful. What is the exact definition that you found? Terrible. Terrible. Dreadful. It's a dreadful movie. Mm. Okay. So let's have the dictionary definition dreadful causing or involving great suffering fear or unhappiness extremely bad or serious right dreadful it's like uh, unhappy right strange sad movie so in these categories awful wonderful stupid or strange where would you classify dreadful? I will classify in... it. Awful. In awful. Awful. It's like, no. Disgusting. Where would you classify disgusting? I think it will go. Awful. Awful, right? Bizarre. It's a strange, okay? Absurd? It's stupid. <laughs> stupid, right? Stupid. Absurd, it's stupid, right? Dumb. Strange. Dumb, it's like tonto. It is um, it's stupid. also, it's, it's stupid. stupid. You know, yeah. in English, for example, in English, the word stupid, it is like silly, right? There is a like, como bobo, tonto. But in Spanish, you have to be very mm -hmm. careful because this is a very strong uh, word. So you don't have to say like, ah, que, que estupido. <laughs> You'll be like, 
Oh, really? Oh, thank you. <laughs> so you have to be very careful. In English, it's normal, but in Spanish, it's a hard word. Fabulous. Wonderful. 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 Fantastic. Wonderful. 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 Awful. 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 Marvelous. Wonderful. 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 Odd. Um, strange. Strange. Odd is like raro. Outstanding. Strange. Uh, wonderful. strange. Wonderful. Wonderful. Outstanding is wonderful. wonderful. Fantastic. Ridiculous. Um, and, stupid stupid. Stupid. and stupid, right? Silly, it's stupid. stupid. It's stupid. Terrible, it's strange. Awful. Terrible awful. can be in a Terrible strange is stupid. or or in awful. awful. Right? Unusual, strange. 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 And weird, it's strange. It's strange. It's strange. When you say, mm, that's a weird movie, right? <laughs> it's like a crazy movie. It's a very weird. A weird. A weird, weird. Yeah. Okay, so in the case of this one, I am just going to I am work. Weird. <laughs> I am weird, weird. A weird it though. Is, is, is the is the son of the creed. Yeah. The creed. And, I, and I'm a weirdo. Uh, yeah. yeah, I know. I know that one. <laughs> when you say a weirdo, <laughs> it's like yo soy un chico raro. I'm a weirdo, you say. It's like when you say I'm a nerd. In this case, I'm a weirdo. So the pronunciation of this uh, one we uh, have. Absurd. Absurd. Bizarre. Absurd. Disgusting. Disgusting. Dreadful. Dreadful. Dumb. 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 Fabulous. 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 Fantastic. 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 Horrible. 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 Marvelous. 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 Odd. Oh, uh, outstanding. outstanding outstanding ridiculous ridiculous silly silly, silly. Terrible. terrible terrible unusual unusual weird 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 very good weird. job so uh, these were kind of the questions that i i got for the beginning of the class Esta fue la idea que agarré para iniciar la clase. What uh, kind of movies are you interested in? What kind of movies do you find boring? For you to practice the different participles as adjectives and the different participle forms, I need you to work on the answer of the questions, okay? Write down the questions on your notebook and create the answers. You have them here on the manual. You can find them there. And please, I need you to write the answer. For example, what kind of movies are you interested in? You say, I am interested in comedies. I am interested in action movies. I am interested in dramas, etc. right? What kind of movies do you find boring? I don't know, a documentary teacher, I hate them. Who are your favorite actors and actresses? And you can tell me the names, right? Are there any actors you don't like? What's one of the most exciting movies you have ever seen? What did you like about it? What are your three favorite movies in English and why? And are there any outstanding movies playing right now? We are all waiting for Mario Bros. So and that's, <laughs> we are all waiting for that movie. So my dear students, it is on your manual on page 17. You can find the questions right there. And uh, we're going to use them for the next class, okay? I am going to call the attendance and I am going to uh, let you go to sleep, okay? So remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Let's go with, let me see. Okay, hey, where's my attendance? Cha -cha -cha. Here it is. Ana Julia? Present. Thank you. Okay, Ana Julia, you can go to sleep. Have a wonderful night. I will see you on Monday. Thank you. Byron Rafael? Present, teacher. Carlos Fernando? Present, teacher. Thank you. Cristina Abigail? Present. Daisy Margarita? Ah, oh, sorry, Daisy Magdalena? Ya le cambié el nombre a la vez. Daisy Magdalena. 
Okay, uh, Damaris Merari. Present teacher. Thank you, you can go to sleep. And the next one, Elmer Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you, you can go to sleep. Have a wonderful night. Uh, Elizabeth del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Elmer Mauricio, that's it. Elvia Sofia. Emma Jamilet. Present teacher. Giselle Cecilia. Iris Rosario. Present. Manuel Alejandro. Marbelli Jocelyn. Hi, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Marbelli. Marbelli, Marbelli. Okay, uh, let's continue with Natalie. Here. Marlon Ernesto. Present teacher. Nelson Rolando. Oscar Eduardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Let's go with Pablo Reyes. Present teacher. Patricia Verónica. Patricia. René David. I'm here. Thank you. Sandra Janet. I'm here, teacher. Sara Maria. Present teacher. Saúl Arnulfo. Saulito. Thank you very much. Okay, my dear students, I am going to see you on Monday for your next class. Please check on the documents and you can work on the exercise. Have a beautiful weekend. Take good care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.